the channel and in today's video I'm going to be talking a little bit about the signing of Joe Williams from Wigan. Um, with that I'm also going to be talking about the um, new away kit for Bristol City for the 2020-21 season that has been announced earlier on today. Um, before we do get into the video though make sure to like and subscribe if you are new and also turn on notifications so you never miss a new video from me. I do have some really really big and good videos planned so make sure to stay tuned for that. But yeah, without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. So kicking it off, um, I'm going to start talking a little bit about the new signing, Joe Williams. Um, he came from Wigan, he's a midfielder. Um, he's 24 years old and he has come sorry, on a four-year contract from Wigan, as I said. Um, we don't know the fee yet, it's an undisclosed fee at the moment, but um, he does look a very good player. He's um, made over 80 appearances um, over his career. He started his career as a youth player at Everton before hopping into the senior team at Everton and then going on loan to the likes of Barnsley and Bolton Wanderers where he did start making a couple of appearances and scoring one goal for Barnsley. He then did make the move to uh, Wigan Athletic and then after that he has obviously came to Bristol City as Dean Holden's first signing as the Bristol City manager. Um, he does look a very good player, um, especially with the likes of Corey Smith leaving for Swansea and the possibility of some more midfielders at Bristol City leaving over the next couple of weeks as well. Um, I think he could be a very crucial part of the next couple of years at Ashton Gate. Um, I think Dean Holden will need a couple of years, maybe one or two years, to get in some players that he will want to make Bristol City push for the Premier League and I think um, as Dean Holden's first signing I think he has done a very very good job in that signing. Um, I'm not too sure much about the player, I haven't seen him a lot. Um, I think I saw him once when Wigan did play Bristol City um, and he did look a very very good player. Um, as I said especially with the, um, some players leaving as well, um, I think he could be a very very crucial part um, in upcoming seasons at Ashton Gate, especially with him being quite one young as well. He is only 23 years old. He could still have um, a couple of years still left in him after the four-year contract he's been offered. Um, so I hope he does stay at Bristol City for those four years and possibly even if he um, has done a lot at Bristol City, stay for an even longer um, period. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it was a very, very, very good signing from Dean Holden. Um, I can't wait to see him down at Ashton Gate and hopefully he can be a crucial part of upcoming years at Ashton Gate. Moving on to the second part of this video now, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the new kit um, that was released with the signing of Joe Williams. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen right here. Um, what I've seen, there's been a lot of mixed thoughts from Bristol City fans and football fans about this kit. Um, Obviously, Bristol City's kits have been released very, very late this season. Um, we still don't have a home or a third kit yet. Um, I'm expecting that to be um, announced over the next couple of days. But talking about this away kit then, um, it is a throwback to when we did beat Liverpool and Brian Tunian scoring that goal at Anfield. Um, so yeah, it is a throwback to that game. Um, well, the main features of it, you can um, tell we've got a new sponsor. This year, uh, Mansion Betts and also Hummel as the kit supplier rather than Bristol Sport. Another main part of this kit is the lime green collar, collar and um, this thing coming down on the chest. Um, the Bristol City's away kits over the last couple of years have been purple and lime and I am a big fan of the purple and lime um, away kits. O uh, overall, I, I do like the kit. Um, I like the green, um, I forgot what it's called, but you, you know what I mean, the green um, bit at the bottom of these sleeves. You've also got like the arrows coming down the shoulders, obviously with the collar and then the um, chest panel thing. And then you've got the obviously the purple kit and then the red Bristol City badge. Um, overall, it's not my favourite kit out of all the kits that have been released over the um, last couple of weeks. Um, I think a lot of Premier League teams and other Championship teams do have better away kits. 
but overall it is not a bad kit um i would like to see it in person though i think it i think it's one of those kits that will look a lot a lot better in person um and i am planning to go down to ashton gate over the next couple of weeks collect um the new home kit and i will be making a video on that so stay tuned for that but yeah, overall it is a nice kit and I'd probably rank it uh, a 7 out of 10. Not the best kit, but it is a very, very good kit. So yes guys, so there you have it. There are my thoughts on the signing of Joe Williams um, and the new away kit. Overall, an amazing signing and a pretty good kit. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what are your thoughts on this kit art and this signing of Joe Williams? I would like to hear your opinions on this signing and the release of the away kit. So yes guys, thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, I will see you guys on the next one.